You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, and Greg Garrett. This is To Hatch a Pod. I'm Key Budge. Today, joining me, Greg Garrett, Corey Costello. Guys, how you doing? Doing good, Key. Nice and busy and, you know, good, doing well. Busy, I think that that's an understatement. We, busy, uh, busier. <laughs> yeah, man, busier than a cat with a herd of puppies, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> unreal. I'm not, I'm trying to visualize that. What is that? I don't even know what that is, a cat with I, a herd of puppies. I don't, I don't know. even know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, today we're going to uh, talk about Memorial Day, and it's such an important day, and we are such a patriotic community here in Tehachapi. We are going to talk to Dean Peterson with our American Legion Post 221. He's going to talk about the parade and some of the other services and things that are provided to our veterans in our community, thanks to the American Legion. So that's uh, coming up in just a minute, and we're looking forward to that conversation. And, you know, things are opening up, and I'm super happy. Greg, you told me that the museum, the Heritage League Museum, is going to open soon. Right, here soon. The date escapes me, but it's it's real soon. I know they put out a work day. June 18th, and I believe. June, June 19th. 19th. Okay. Yeah, 19th, yep. 19th. June 19th. Okay. From uh, noon to four. Thank you yeah. for that. That's going to be on Saturdays. So mm-hmm. another thing to look forward to to do down in the downtown area in Tehachapi. Right. They have a lot of volunteers. Like, we have so many volunteers in this in this city, in this community. It's It's great. So can't wait. The visitor center is open. The depot is open on Saturday and Sunday. So really coming back alive, if you will. Love that. Yeah. We've got such a, a vibrant downtown and now with the farmer's market around the corner and all the different things that we have, this is just another thing for people to come and do, to get outside and to enjoy the Tehachapi weather, our downtown area. And I'm so happy that uh, we've got the, the docents at the uh, Heritage League Museum that are going to be available on Saturdays. That'll that'll be a, a welcome addition to our downtown here this summer. That's right. Let's not wait any longer. We've got Memorial Day that's coming. We've done uh, several of our podcasts have been military related, and there is no other day other than Memorial Day that we really want to make sure we recognize. We will have a Memorial Day parade once again this year as we do each year, and that's thanks to our friends here at our neighbors at the American Legion Post 221. And today we brought in Dean Peterson. Dean, welcome to Tehachapod. Well, thank you. Glad, glad to be here. Thank you for being so flexible. I mean, I, I, I call you and say, hey, Dean, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Uh, what's your availability? Anytime. And, <laughs> and then uh, Key calls me and says, let's do a podcast. I'm like, yeah. okay, uh, <laughs> let me finish up this meeting so I can come on over. But yeah. it works out well. Within an hour, Dean's like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's not a problem. So thank you for that kind of flexibility. I'm glad my employer allows it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's talk about Memorial Day and parade and, and what's coming up. And the American Legion is is putting it together once again this year. What do we have to look forward to to honor our military and those that have paid the uh, the ultimate sacrifice that uh, obviously Memorial Day pays tribute to? Well, we're going to start off with the parade, and that's uh, it's kind of kind of the tradition to get the, the whole town involved. A great way to to kick it off for Memorial Day, uh, get get the whole town there. But after the parade, we're going to have a flag ceremony and just a, a small ceremony uh, over at uh, Central Park uh, around the flag, the stand there. And so we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for our military and our, our fallen soldiers. So we really appreciate your service, everyone's service, and paying tribute to the fallen soldiers. That's what Memorial Day was originally started back in 1868 on 30 May, and it's been transformed into the last uh, Monday of, of May every year. It became a national holiday in 1971. But back to the parade honoring our local servicemen and women, it starts at the Kmart parking lot at the west end of town, going down F Street, and then turning either on Davis or Hay somewhere, and then Mojave. ending up, Mojave, sorry, and then ending up at Central Park, beautiful downtown park. And you'll be having a, a flag raising ceremony, and all of this is open to the public, right? They can street side yes. on on F Street, or they can join you, or do both, join you at the flag raising ceremony, which is really important to say thank you to all of the servicemen and women. Yes, absolutely. You know, the more the merrier. We're glad to have everybody there. What are we looking like in participation so far? I know we're still a couple of weeks out as we record this, but I know that you're still looking for entrance. People that like to participate. Who do we have so far? What are, what are we going to look forward to, to seeing coming down F Street? So far, we have probables. You know, of course, the, you know how the, everything goes right now, but probables from the Boy Scouts, the Cub Scouts, the Civil Air Patrol, the Mr. Hatchapi, and a handful of stores around the town. And I know usually our police department and fire department participate. We're also trying to get a flyby, uh, the fire department, 
Uh, we've worked with them before to get the uh, Veterans Day flyby as well. They're fantastic folks. Love to work with them. And they're, we're hoping to get them again this year. Maybe of we course. could put out the call to Edwards and see if we can't get an F-22 <laughs> or something. Or, you know, I don't know. What the heck? Yeah, we have General Heiger is on a first name basis. with a, the award-winning podcast. So we could <laughs> ring him <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Cool. Unfortunately, they say, how big is your town? And we say, well, oh, it's Tehachapi. And they're like, where's Tehachapi? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, un- unfortunately, they uh, they only go for the big towns. <laughs> if you know somebody, absolutely, that'd be great. Well, we do have the base commander in our Rolodex, as, yeah, a, right. as we refer to. So we can we can maybe send out a little email, you know, and, and saying, hey, oh, how, about a, yeah. how about a training run? You know, uh, you're between Absolutely. just after 10 a.m. here in Tehachapi. Everybody likes to see their tax dollars at work, right? And I love oh, absolutely. seeing and hearing and it, my tax dollars at work. <laughs> and, and I bet the pilots have no qualms about stopping over. Guaranteed you know? not. And, you know, a lot of the folks that work out at Edwards uh, serving in the Air Force or, you know, civilians even, they live in Tehachapi. And uh, they're a big part of our of our community. They give back. And I'm sure that we'll see a lot of them on the parade route. Yeah, yeah, I sure hope so. But how about the Legion Post? Will, will you have an entry in? Or will you have members of the post that will be participating in the parade? Yeah, so we should have people as well. We'll have the American Legion Riders, which will be kicking off the parade. They operate quite closely with the the Patriot Guard Riders as well. But yeah, we'll have the, the motorcycle riders because, of course, you know, like a pie that you can't keep them away from it, you know. But no, the great a bunch of guys will be leading off and we should have a, a float as well. Or if we can if we can get it together at the last minute here, we're, we're hoping to have a float. Dean, I mean, it, we, we all know that, you know, Memorial Day, as Greg kind of pointed out, like it's a it's a tough day in general for what it stands for. But is it, you know, what are some of the challenges? I mean, you know, from a veteran standpoint, you know, the American Legion standpoint, obviously because you are sort of honoring falling soldiers and, and fallen soldiers and and, and mo- a lot of you were able to, to serve and, and come back home. So does that make that, you know, the day tougher, you know, emotionally, or is it just even just more important just given your, the service that you all experienced? It's it's much more important. A lot of us have have uh, left buddies, you know, on the battlefield. Um, a lot of us have have buried comrades or or you know people that we've worked with. So um, it's definitely more of a challenge for us. I'm I'm sure you'll see a bunch of us out there crying. So it's one of those days, and probably the most important day of the year to me to just take that time to reflect and appreciate you know, what has been sacrificed for us to have our freedom. And we have Independence Day and other days, but this one is critical. It's not just a long weekend. This is about celebrating our freedom because people have sacrificed and these men and women have put their lives on the line. You know, they they took an oath and it meant something. So we have the parade, we have the flag raising ceremony, but at 3 p.m. local time, no matter where you are around the globe, if you're an American citizen, and or, you know, a veteran, if you will, at 3 p.m., there is a moment of silence, a national moment of silence on Memorial Day. So don't forget that either. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, Dean, um, as we move forward and people listen to this, and I know there, there, there will be emotional responses to it, but there's going to be people that want to support and want to say, hey, I want to be a part of this. How can they do that if they would like to be an active member in the parade what are you looking for right now? And then how does those individuals or businesses go ahead and, and participate? So we do have a, an entry form. Uh, and I was actually going to try and walk around the businesses this weekend and hand out flyers on, on how to do this. But we do have an entry form on tashby.com. Also, we've been working with the Chamber of Commerce. And you can email us, the, the American Legion Post, uh, or on the, on the Facebook page even. As a last resort, you can even text me. I'm a transplant, so I have a weird number. <laughs> But it's it's three two zero three six four zero one seven nine, and it's just you know give me how many people are going to be there, what kind of floats, what you represent. If you want us to say something special about your your business or community activity, whatever, just kind of things of that nature. And you can always contact City Hall, right? Mariana Gutierrez, our special event application manager, she has all of your information, and she can yes. get that to you. So as last resort always, or first resort, right? First choice, call us because we can always help facilitate that. It's great working with you guys. So Dean, what else? I mean, you guys are you in, 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 like any business, I guess you can say, or or service organization, or or support group. I mean, you were impacted by by COVID and you know shut down a lot. We certainly noticed a lot less activity at, at the Veterans Hall and the and the the post you know, next door to City Hall. So what's it been like for you guys getting out of you know everything when shutdowns and stuff like that? As you kind of get your services and uh, and everything back up and running for, uh, for for your members, it's been a challenge. A lot. We've 
been able to stay active as far as, you know, Zoom calls and things like that for the actual Legion meetings. But we do do, uh, we do have service projects. So the, the Sons of the American Legion kind of take the, the lead on contacting veterans and, and uh, getting the needs and special requests around the community. Well, we've been able to do, you know, yard work and, and that, things of that nature. So we've been active behind the scenes. But unfortunately, the, yeah, like I said, the building has been kind of a, a stuck point for us. So we're sure, we're sure hoping to get back into it. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the service projects that you're doing, that you're assisting other veterans in the community. And, and you mentioned you touched on doing a little yard work. So can you expand on that a little bit? Basically, any veteran in the community or even family members of, of veterans, give us a call, drop an email on the, on the, the, the Facebook page there. And you know, we'd, we'd be glad to come out and, and do almost anything that needs to get done. I won't say anything, but yard work, we, you know, we can work on houses, we can work on cars. We've done almost anything we can do to try and help people out. And so if you want to, if you need something, if you need assistance, or if you want to help, if you want to assist, yes. I don't think you need to be a veteran really to be able to help some help veterans clean up a veteran's yard. You can be Joe oh, Public. No. Oh, absolutely. Okay, uh, We'll take all the help we can get. There you uh, go. And we actually, uh, we're going to start working with the Civil Air Patrol as well. Okay. Uh, and even the, like the diesels, the uh, 5150 diesels, mm-hmm. uh, we've done a lot of, a lot of work with them. So yeah, the community is helping out. And if, if we'd love more volunteers, be more than happy. Well, we have great volunteers. I say that all the time, and, and we just do. We love Tehachapi and, and the different groups, the churches, and the city has a great partnership with the Civil Air Patrol. We allow them to utilize our airport terminal for their meetings and training and things, and so just partnerships galore, and it's just it makes this, this community so glorious. Once again, it's collaborations. When we come together, government and the community and private business, we have success And, uh, you know, that's one of the things I keep hearing over and over again as we get deeper into these podcasts and talking to to people in the community is it's about whether you call it networking, collaborations, partnerships. One group can do something. Another group can do something else. But together you can do even more. Right. And I I love to hash me that way. We've always come together. We've always stepped up to the plate. We have great businesses, great people, you know, great churches and and just community activities. It's always been fantastic. A very patriotic town. I was talking to Don Marsh, our public works director this morning, and he plans on putting up the American flags downtown, Green Street, F, Tatchby Boulevard, all over uh, the week of the 24th. So it's perfect timing. Obviously, we want them up before Memorial Day, and we take them down right before we put up Christmas decorations. But they're going to be crisp, and they're going to be new, and they're going to look perfect for you know the Memorial Day celebrations, if you will, and and the remembrance of our fallen soldiers. So we're really looking forward to that. Now, American Legion Post Two Two One also provides on on your website other support services for veterans because especially as we we get closer to memorial day and it does become emotional there are maybe some things that some of our veterans may need some help with and you've got a great uh, set of resources for them yes yeah so go to the website uh we'd be more than happy to help out even on the the emotional side of things and if nothing else come talk come and talk to us so we do meet third wednesday of every month uh and the sons of the american legion meet at five o'clock uh the american legion and the auxiliary meets at seven o'clock and that's right here on f street right next to city hall off of robinson yes and those meetings yep. are open to the public they're open for veterans it's for legion business mm-hmm. but if you are interested in joining or even if you just want to talk to to vet you know if you're a veteran you need help mm-hmm. you know come come give us a, a holler at the, the okay. building there. there you go and you can get more information on american legion post 221's website and that's www.post p-o-s-t 221.org and then also on your Facebook page and you can search that at Tehachapi Post 221 and uh, you've got all the information and links for anyone that might be looking for the information that they need or if they want to participate so um, we want to make sure that that's a resource that we share. Well, I know we have a veteran on our city council. Mayor Bill Smith is a is a veteran out of the Coast Guard and he looks forward every year to this event and and remembering his uh, his colleagues, whether they're, you know, fallen or alive, you know, those those days. And it's super important. We're not just yeah. protecting the United States. You know, our military protects the world. We keep this world free from from the bad guys, quite frankly. And it's um, it's God given, that's for sure. And, and it's so exciting to to be able to be living here and be part of this organization. And I'm sure Chief Crager will be a part mm-hmm, of it, mm-hmm. a U.S. Army veteran. He usually is is right there to to be a part of it. We've got 
several veterans that are also in our police department and in our public works department. That's right. City staff is also represented with our veterans. We all have a vested interest in this success. Exactly right. So, Dean, is there anything that we haven't talked about that you would you would like to mention or let the public know? We're always open for questions, always open for new members or, or even uh, somebody that would like to help out. If anyone would like to participate in the Memorial Parade again, let's send them both to the website where they can get the email or to Facebook or they can text you. And could, do you mind sharing that number yes. again? Area code 320-364-0179. And yeah, that's home number. So if I don't answer, I'm probably out running somewhere. So. You, might, you might be working. Sounds Asleep. like you're working from home. So. I, I am working from home. Well, Dean, we really appreciate the time you've taken. Thank you for your service to our country uh, as a veteran and everything that you're doing for our veterans. I'm glad to help out. I'm glad to be working with you guys too. Appreciate it very much. Well, right. Excellent. Thanks, Dean. Well, guys, that was Dean Peterson with our American Legion Post 221 right next door to us here at City Hall. Memorial Day, it's a motion when you stop, think you have to take pause. Well, when Corey asked that question, you could tell. you could I could see Dean on the screen and I mm-hmm. could feel it and hear him. There was a pause, right? Because it is truly memorial of fallen soldiers. Dean's been there, right? We can only imagine, but, you know, there was that pause. I know that as uh, in my journalism career, whenever I've talked to veterans about Memorial Day, and, uh, you know, the question is, like, what does Memorial Day mean to you as a veteran? It's almost impossible to get an answer. Yeah, It takes them to the core of their emotion and, the, and how they feel colleagues they've lost along the way and it's just that question that you ask and and then i feel bad that i asked it but it's important that people understand the importance of what it means to have sacrificed and um, paid the ultimate sacrifice and then to to come home there's guilt that comes along with that that they come home and they left friends behind and um you start to you don't understand it until you start to see that real emotion yeah, there's a, there's a couple of days a year, I think, that always really impact them. And obviously Memorial Day is one of them because of the broad scope. But especially knowing guys that I know that have served, they have those dates, a couple of dates where it was a really close friend. Uh, it was a really close, you know, brother of theirs that, that you know, that, that gave up their life on this specific day. And so that day and then Memorial Day sometimes gets incredibly tough because they're brought back to those, you know, the thing about those people specifically. And it's almost like an anniversary date to them. I've got an uncle, he's buried at the National Cemetery down at 223, and he served uh, in the Army in the uh, Korean conflict. And one time, when I was much younger, I asked him about it, and he just, he said, no, I'm good, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And at that point, and I was very young, I was in junior high, I remember, and I thought, hmm, you know, there's more to the story. Obviously, there is more to the story, and only they know. Exactly. But thank God they are protecting this great nation. Hopefully, we pulled a little emotion from you, and we want you to to attend the Memorial Day Parade Mm -hmm. in Tehachapi. It's going to run along F Street between the old Kmart parking lot, and it'll end Philip Mark Central Park on E Street. So find a spot on F Street and pay honor to these men and women that have served our country and those that are with us and those that have paid that sacrifice. And bring your kids. Yeah. It's important to to educate and instill in them the patriotic symbolism, right? This means something, and uh, we need to make sure that we're thinking. Everything starts at 10 a.m. on Memorial Day, and again, it's along F Street. So find a spot, come out early, bring the lawn chair, pick a, your favorite tree, have a seat, just sit back and appreciate those that are participating and that those that they are honoring. And again, if you'd like more information, if you'd like to participate, go to www.post221.org or you can go to on the Facebook page at Tehachapi Post 221 to get more information, get yourself in, give us a call. We'll make sure that we get you to Dean or to someone there at uh, the American Legion Mm -hmm. Post 221. So, and then of course, uh, following the parade, there will be a ceremony at the memorial site right there at uh, Central Park at they anticipate about 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. So that's something else that will be very emotional, and uh, it's good to see. I've I've been there. I've 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 seen, and it again pulls emotion from you. Yeah, yeah. and I know that uh, there's another there's a yeah second event. You know, the Western Swing Out comes here on on Memorial Day weekend, and uh, you know that's kind of a ticketed event. But they always help out on Memorial Day. They come and join 
the Legion and their festivities as well, the attendees of that event. So it's kind of a cool, you know, people that uh, just visit our community, make it a, a point as part of their event to actually, you know, include themselves at the ceremony with the, with the American Legion at Central Park. So it's kind of a, it's, it's a cool addition to that. For yeah. Sure. Win-win for everybody. And then on the heels of uh, Memorial Day, we've got 4th of July. Yeah. We're celebrating our independence here really soon, right? Yeah. Day after yeah. tomorrow. I mean, think about it. <laughs> it almost feels that right? fast. I mean, it's, it's going uh, that quick. Yeah. And now we'll get a chance to celebrate our independence. Yeah. And uh, Corey, You've got a whole lineup of things that are happening yeah, we're on getting, that Sunday. It's starting to uh, really take shape. And, uh, we're I really see Corey excited. is losing more hair because of all these different things that <laughs> are happening. What do you mean more hair? What do you losing more hair? I, I got the greatest hairline in this room. Uh, <laughs> but, no, it uh, it really is. It's starting to take shape. I mean, we're getting, uh, you know, the, we, we, we've we got the, the 5K, uh, tvrpd.org. If you want to register for that, register in advance for that. Of course, the pancake breakfast is rolling and tickets are available for that and they'll be available in different spots around town and then also you've got there's we got our food you know vendors all lined up and stuff for most of them lined up for central park the arts association has pulling together their their vendors or craft vendors to do a lot of the central park uh, stuff there as well and then we're getting bands and, and entertainment acts lined up and we're kind of taking a different route this year in the past, a lot of that event was uh, we'd have the T-Pops Orchestra and then the Symphony Orchestra would go play at Coy Burnett Stadium. We're not doing the Coy Burnett piece this year. And then we've kind of changed the entertainment lineup up a little bit to kind of focus on our local our local group. So we've got confirmed right now there's a, a young man named Ryan Silifant. He actually, I want to say he's 18. He's a senior in high school. He, he works at the coffee mill. He plays there on a regular basis. Very talented young man. Uh, so he's going to get rolling. We've got another group of young ladies that also perform at the coffee mill that are going to be uh, on stage. And then uh, our headliner, uh, we just were able to lock down this uh, Americana band named Mule Skinner Revival. A Mule local group. Skinner Revival. Mule They're Skinner good. Revival. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was a, this was a, a key budge suggestion, and uh, they were really happy to play. Very cool band, stand up. Well, they've been at the Crystal Palace many times, and so I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, they're going to all of the acts actually. They're going to be really cool. Uh, It's going to be a nice uh, addition to that, and so good fun day at the park. Really is what we're going for, and the wrestling club, uh, Tashby Valley Wrestling Club, is going to be having a. They're hosting the beer garden, so they do that. We have the Wall of Valor that the American Legion Auxiliary works with, so that'll be set up uh, at Central Park at the gazebo. So yeah, you're really excited, starting to come together, and of course fireworks. At night, bull riding is back, so they'll have that. TMRA is gonna gonna be doing that again. So the lineup is is coming together. Pretty excited. That's a lot. That's that's it's gonna a be lot. a tizzy I, I knew, I'm Like when I put Corey in charge of, of the celebration for the Fourth of July, I'm like, oh, there's a lot to do here, and there's a lot of people. It's like yeah. herding cats, right? Yeah, and dogs, cats. What did you say earlier? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> well, the problem is, and the only challenge is, you know, when you put me in charge of it, is the fact that like. First of all, for some reason, it's like always been my favorite holiday that Fourth of July. And then, secondly, you know, we've talked about it a little bit, but yeah, growing up here, I understand we still all you know, we still cram onto Imhoff Field and watch the fireworks. And like Greg said, they literally shoot them over your. I head. was I remember laying down there and these things <laughs> are falling nuts. beside me. I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. But now I'm looking back like, oh my god, what <laughs> a liability. A <laughs> yeah, you know, you had some guy with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth lighting all the fireworks. Yeah. You know, but so that that part of it too, it's like okay. Every year it's got to be cooler. We got to do something better, better. And every year I say, "Hey, I need a little more money for fireworks," <laughs> like, and try to get a little bit more. And we've been able to come up with the uh, last couple of years. As we have an year, amazing especially. show at the city. Of yeah, Tampa. it's just a spec. Spectacular. Okay, we got a great relationship yeah. with our vendor, and they understand. Like, hey, we're trying to do a little something. Like, all right, we got a plan. Well, you know, and so, uh, you know, Zambelli Fireworks out of Shafter is going to, you know, produce the show again at Tatchby Municipal Airport. Great places to view it around the area. Really excited about all that, and a few other things will fall into place. But uh, it great. is a fun, it is a fun day, and and community partners help make that happen. I mean, TMRA does the bull riding, and you know, Arts Association has helped me with the craft fair portion. They're doing all that, and then. You know, Warrior Boosters football team, they're doing the, some of the um, some of the food, the pancake breakfast. The soccer team actually is going to be doing hamburgers and hot dogs afterwards in the same food booth. So that'll be kind of cool as well. And then we have some, you know, local vendors that supply food uh, for purchase too and stuff during the day. So it'll be a good day at Central Park. And always TBRPD. Is. Yeah, TBRPD with the, with the 5K, uh, the All-American 5K and uh, register. And you can start at any time this year. Uh, you don't have to start 7 a.m. You got to be there. You can roll in at 8.30 and start your running they've got these timing chips that will time and they'll download the information later so it's pretty cool technologies has uh, gone that way so really excited about the day it's starting to really come together nicely 
So we got Memorial Day. We've got the parade, 10 a.m. Find a spot on F Street for that. July 4th, all day long, we've got something for you to do right here all in downtown Tehachapi. Anything else, guys, that uh, we want to throw out there? Well, that's we're lighting up? the fireworks off at the airport. And just recently, Ashley Whitmore, our airport manager, received certification from the American Association of Airport Executives as a certified member. She studied, a big course, took a, an amazing test. I looked at that, the holy moly. But, you know, in finance, administration, planning, construction, environmental, airport operations, communications, All those things. So Ashley is, you know, as we all are here at the city, you know, improving, training, educating ourselves so we can do a better job for the citizens. So super excited and congratulations to Ashley for for achieving that uh, certification. And this was not easy. I think that's, I mean, that's an understatement. The time that she put into it and the time studying for this test. And I remember she she told Greg on a couple of occasions, she said, I'm dreaming about it at night. Like I'm literally dreaming about this stuff at night. So that's like, okay, that means you're, I think your brain is actually retaining the information if you're dreaming, she, dreaming about it. Right. So. And she's the first certified airport manager that we've had it in the city of Tatchby. So I'm super proud of Ashley and super proud of our entire team. You know, she's got Charles and Mariana helping her and mm-hmm. you know, public works. It, that Our airport is so perfectly maintained. It's so sweet and it's so safe. So just a great asset to the city and this community. Mm-hmm. Projects. I think we should do a podcast on projects, Key. Yeah, I love that. We've- right? We've got so much going on this summer. We've got a lot of public and private money being injected into our city. And Andrew here at the city, our uh, assistant engineer, he's going to have his plate full this summer. <laughs> we're going to be repaving. We're going to be slurring ceiling. Striping. Striping. Mm-hmm. We're putting in some pedestrian enhancements. So I think let's do a podcast on the projects that are going to happen in the city in the next six to eight months. Maybe we can bring in the, our public works director as well because they work together on let's some of these that, projects. Right? So we'll reach out to Don as well and see if we can... Uh, Make that happen. Right. They don't work in a vacuum. Andrew and Don, you know, once Andrew is done, he delivers it to Don and Don has to maintain it. He executes it. Right. So let's do it. Okay. Sounds good. These are all things coming up here on Tehachapod. You know, we appreciate your time that you invest in us. Make sure you tell a friend. We know that as our audience grows, that you're listening, we're getting feedback, we're getting show ideas. That's what we want. Send us an email, media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We'll take a look at it, and if we can answer the question or we can get an expert to talk about that topic, we'll do it. Media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Guys, thanks for uh, joining me once again for Tehachapod. It's a pleasure. Sounds great. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi designed for the people who live here or who would like to know more about this mountaintop community. If you have a question you would like answered, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We will try to answer it on a future episode of Tehachapod.